What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on MMTLP and FINRA Saga. And guys, as usual, for today's video I have several news. Unfortunately, the majority of them are really bad news uh, in our case. And I will explain you what I'm talking about within just several minutes. Uh, but for now, let's start with this one. I have to admit it is more positive news. I think the most positive news that uh, we have on the table right now. And uh, before we dive deep uh, into all of this, please hit the like button for YouTube algorithm and drop me a line in the comment section if you think my videos are valuable for you. So let's start with this uh, news, with this tweet that was written by Unusual Wales eight hours ago. And it says, breaking Donald Trump to replace SEC Chair Gar Gensler with pro-crypto Teresa Goody Gullion. And uh, this is a uh, quite uh, unexpected decision because uh, we thought that uh, potentially the head of SEC might be completely different people and we had several people who could be this uh, head. But uh, let me show you this uh, update from uh, Torsten Porcho. And uh, it says, President-elect Donald Trump's decision to replace Gary Gensler with Teresa Goody Gullion as SEC chair is a bold and necessary move to restore fairness and innovation in the financial sector. Gensler's reign has been uh, characterized by heavy-handed enforcement and a lack of clear regulatory guidance, stifling uh, the growth uh, of the cryptocurrency industry. Goody Gullion's appointment signals the end to this era and the beginning of a more transparent pro-innovation approach. Teresa Goody Gullion's extensive expertise in securities law and blockchain technology makes her the perfect choice to lead the SEC during this pivotal time. Her commitment to creating clear and balanced regulatory frameworks will encourage growth while ensuring investors uh, investor protection, something uh, Gensler's approach failed to achieve. Trump's vision for a thriving financial sector is once again on full display. This decision has already received praise uh, from industry leaders like Coinbase, uh, uh, Coinbase's Paul Gruwal, who has long called for regulatory leadership uh, that supports innovation rather than suppressing it. Under Goody uh, Gullion, uh, the SEC is poised to foster an environment uh, that attracts investment and solidifies the US as a leader in digital assets. Trump's move isn't just a win for cryptocurrency, it's a win for the entire financial system, signaling the return of uh, common sense leadership and economic progress. And guys, definitely this uh, choice is uh, quite uh, good, uh, is obviously quite good for the cryptocurrencies. And we know that uh, uh, Donald Trump uh, for now has a personal interest uh, in the cryptocurrencies because he established a company with uh, his sons and uh, this uh, company is directly related to cryptocurrencies in general. But at the same time, guys, uh, Donald Trump also has a huge interest uh, in the stock market for obvious reasons. One of them is definitely the DJT case uh, and uh, our case is DJT and uh, Next Bridge Hydrocarbons tied up together very closely with this letter that was written uh, on April 23rd of this year by Devin Nunes, the CEO of uh, this company, and we have uh, uh, the attachment to this letter. Uh, and the attachment is our letter that was uh, written by uh, Ralph Norman's office uh, and that was addressed to Gary Gensler and uh, Robert W. Cook. Unfortunately, we didn't receive uh, any answers, uh, but at the same time, guys, this uh, leads me to the conclusion that potentially with this uh, choice, uh, we might have another step towards a resolution through this path. But unfortunately, I have to admit that uh, I don't have uh, any confirmations from Donald Trump's uh, official Twitter account. Uh, uh, he didn't uh, post anything about this. But at the same time, guys, we have a lot of news uh, on Google search results uh, related to Teresa Goody Gullion. And uh, even uh, uh, Yahoo Finance wrote uh, this uh, uh, wrote this article. And let me quote to just these three bullet points. 
The Trump uh, transition team is uh, considering Teresa Goody uh, Guyen, uh, partner at law firm Baker Hostler and uh, co-lead of its blockchain team among several candidates to become the next uh, SEC chair, industry sources said. Goody Guyen is a seasoned uh, securities lawyer with an experience uh, serving the SEC and opposing the agency on behalf of blockchain companies and traditional businesses. President-elect Trump is seeking a pro-crypto non-bureaucrat to drastically overhaul the SEC with light-touch regulation, the sources said. So, time will tell. Uh, will the SEC work properly in uh, our, in uh, I mean, in favor of retail investors or not? But uh, definitely it is a good step uh, in general towards fair and transparent markets. On top of that, guys, uh, let me show you this news. And I have to admit that it is the worst news uh, uh, of today's video. Jung Savi wrote this just several hours ago. Judge grants defendants a motion to dismiss in Trot versus Ari Rubinstein GTS Securities, GTS Equity Partnership, GTS Execution Services and FINRA for failure to state a claim. Judge gives Trot an opportunity, 20 days, to file second amended compliant to state claims and relief sought against each defendant. And here is the direct speech from this document. Because plaintiff is self-represented, the court will grant him 20 days uh, from the date of this order to file a motion for leave to amend that complies with the local Rule 15. This filing must include a proposed Second Amendment compliant that sets forth the claims plaintiff seeks to assert against each defendant and the relief he seeks. Plaintiff may consult the courts uh, representing yourself uh, as a pro se litigant guide. And uh, here's a couple more add-ons. Plaintiff is also warned of vexatious filings. And plaintiff may certify factual assertions only. So, guys, uh, you know that uh, Scott is uh, not a lawyer and uh, he's, he represents himself. Probably this is the reason why he didn't uh, file this document properly. And potentially this might be the downside of uh, this case, that uh, he uh, didn't uh, hire an attorney. And uh, within next 20 days, uh, we will see where this uh, case uh, will lead us. But at the same time, guys, uh, 20 days is uh, exact the deadline of uh, statute of limitations. That is why, guys, I think uh, from this side of our case, uh, we are losing grounds. Unfortunately, we are losing grounds. At the same time, I want to pay attention to the Scott Trot Twitter account. He didn't write any uh, updates in regards to this uh, news. And I have to say that, uh, unfortunately, it is another uh, not the best sign. Uh, let's put it this way. And on top of that, guys, uh, wait a second. Uh, we don't have any... Uh, any comments uh, from, for example, Mark the Seal site. And definitely he knows about uh, this uh, update. Uh, I think he knows about this update, but he didn't uh, write anything that uh, might be uh, interesting for MMTLP community or important for MMTLP community. So let me show you another news. Uh, and <laughs> this is another bad news, unfortunately, another bad news of today's video. So, your favorite SGM, the person who just uh, recently wrote a letter to Greg McCabe with several questions that uh, he asked in order to uh, have more information as a shareholder. And uh, he wrote this just uh, uh, several hours ago. He wrote this tweet. My registered mail for MMTL MMAT was received, but unable to be delivered for MMTLP. With a couple of phone calls to Valor with the exact same address, they have occupied the entirety of suit 950 for roughly 60 days. Nobody I spoke with seems to know where and next bridge hydrocarbons went. And uh, guys, it is another quite uh, scary part because uh, we know that. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, let me show you some facts. We know that uh, for the last year and a half, I guess. Uh, 
for about 18 months. Uh, next bridge hydrocarbons uh, lost a lot of its board of directors, a lot of uh, people from uh, the board of directors, and uh, they lost a lot of uh, C levels executives. On top of that, guys, they filed uh, a 10Q report that is not uh, uh, so pleasant, uh, let's put it this way, for the shareholders. On top of that, guys, they don't have enough uh, money to operate, and for now, uh, we cannot, uh, basically not we, but uh, uh, certain cannot find uh, the real address of next bridge hydrocarbons. And uh, I think it is a quite suspicious coincidence, uh, but uh, in my opinion, uh, it is not the best news. On top of that, guys, uh, for example, Platinum wrote this. Valor's been uh, there a lot longer than 60 days. Does Clifton Dubois and Joseph De Woody sound familiar? And you know that these two people were in the board of directors of Next Bridge Hydrocarbons that were formed uh, in order to be a spin-off uh, of uh, Meta Materials and uh, in order to receive all the assets uh, uh, of uh, uh, former Torchlight Energy Resources. At the same time, guys, uh, take a look at this uh, tweet that was written 10 hours ago by MA22X uh, Doc uh, Tarek Timsar, and uh, he wrote, and BH wasn't even designed to be a legit business. It was a holding uh, company until McCabe and Dubois got the next round going. Here's the list of McCabe companies there. They may have just not recognized NBH. Call back Valor and throw out McCabe's name using one of these. And here is the list of companies. And guys, take a look right here. Uh, here is uh, the uh, uh, list of uh, companies uh, which belongs uh, to Greg McCabe. One of them uh, is a flamethrower. Quite interesting that I basically I didn't know that uh, Greg was uh, one of the co-founders uh, on top of John Burda of this company. Next uh, company is definitely Next Bridge Hydrocarbons. It is the first one. And uh, it has uh, uh, the same address than uh, one, two, three, four, five, six other companies. And uh, let me quote you their names. McCabe Minerals and Royalties LLC, McCabe Petroleum Corporation, McCabe Ventures, uh, McClure Oil Company, uh, Resolve, not, not this one, uh, Torchlight Energy and uh, uh, Wildcatters Network. So, definitely it is quite uh, interesting uh, information but uh, to be honest i don't know how we can use it and what is hiding behind this information and thank you thank you uh, ma22x uh, for this information it is definitely very helpful to see a bigger picture of the entire saga but at the same time guys the news itself uh, is not the best one so what do we have left unfortunately we we pretty much uh, don't have uh, any additional steps that we might take uh, in order to see the resolution. The only path uh, for now, and uh, uh, with the latest news, I think uh, it is uh, the most prominent one, but uh, definitely we don't have a lot of chances to see the resolution through this path as well. But uh, we have uh, a new president administration with the Dodge uh, agency that was established just recently and Elon and Vivek will try to optimize uh, the government in general and potentially through this uh, path uh, we might also see some kind of resolution uh, for our case but guys with this update uh, we we are losing this ground as well so Curtis, uh, let me first of all uh, go to this tweet that was written by Curtis just several hours ago, and he wrote, If Dodge wants to eliminate waste and fraud corruption in government simultaneously, kill two birds with one stone and start with the financial regulatory authorities, FINRA and SEC. On the surface, FINRA's operating budget looks uh, modest at over $1.3 billion annually, but considering their failures to even remotely succeed in their mission statement guiding principles of protecting investors, promoting market integrity and facilitating vibrant capital markets, they are a black hole of billions of dollars in expense and fraud. FINRA abuses their self-regulatory organization authority in uh, rule-making, enforcement or lack thereof, and selective oversight. 
Even worse, Fina has been given a special status that affords them complete immunity and it shows in their actions. To reduce cost and improve transparency, due process, congressional oversight and responsiveness, Fina should be abolished and their regulatory functions should be merged with the SEC. With regulatory authority delegated by the government, Fina has proved to be ineffective costly, opaque and largely impervious uh, to reform, stated the Project 2025 Mandate for Change. Uh, I agree with the Heritage Foundation, abolish FINRA, absorb uh, FINRA's functions with the SEC and then hold the SEC accountable. MTLP is a perfect example of uh, the failure in the current regulatory structure. Instead of acting in accordance with their mission statement of protecting investors and market integrity, FINRA broke their own rules, Rule 6490, and ceased trading U3 for an investment in which hedge funds were egregiously underwater due to naked short selling. The situation is still unresolved after two years. FINRA and SEC are definition of captured regulators, bringing accountability back to our markets by minimizing the influence of the largest financial industry players and instead truly protect investors by enforcing rules that already exist and punishing entities and individuals stealing from household investors. And uh, let me show you this uh, response that was written by Junk Sevi. Well, if the goal of Dodge is to root out waste, fraud and abuse, then assigning Pete Sessions as a co-chair of the caucus uh, is not a good start. He's a part of the problem. For almost two years, the MMLTLP army has backed for Pete's help, provided unprecedented amounts of information demonstrating the fraud that was uh, perpetrated against investors by the criminal enterprise uh, who polluted our stock uh, with counterfeit shares. Pete has consistently obstructed our efforts and may have uh, even concealed evidence uh, of the crimes. You may want to rethink this assignment. So guys, you might wonder, what is she talking about? And uh, I have to admit that uh, she's talking about uh, this, uh, uh, this update. So Pete Sessions wrote this 12 hours ago, excited to co-chair the new Dodge Caucus uh, with uh, Representative Aaron uh, Bean, dedicated to working alongside Dodge, Elon Musk and Vivek Ramaswamy uh, to eliminate government waste, fraud and abuse. And he refers to this, uh, uh, this uh, tweet, and it is uh, Fox News Politics wrote uh, this update. So, Dodge meets Congress. GOP lawmaker launches caucus uh, to help Musk uh, take on Crazy Town. And let me quote to this. Uh, taking on Crazy Town is not easy task, being said. Thus far, representatives Jeff Van Du of uh, New Jersey and Ralph Norman have joined the caucus. Representative Pete Sessions of Texas also filed uh, to join as a caucus co-chair. And guys, uh, I have to admit that uh, it is another awful news for us. And uh, a rare DD in response to Pete Sessions' tweet wrote the following. You can't be serious. Aren't you the same person that promised among TLP share count to your constituents that represented over 65,000 families and are currently victims of fraud? If you can't follow through on uh, that promise, what use are you to Elon Musk, uh, Vivek uh, Ramaswamy and uh, uh, Donald Trump? And guys, I have uh, nothing to add to this statement and unfortunately I have to admit that uh, we basically don't have any options uh, to see the resolution at least at this time. And guys, yes, I'm really upset about this, I'm tired and to be honest, uh, I'm very, very tired of uh, this entire saga. But still, I think within the next uh, several days uh, we will see, we have to see some light at the end of this tunnel and uh, I will definitely do an update to show you what do we have on the table right now. At the same moment, guys, uh, Drew Diligence uh, uh, wrote uh, the most promising tweet, let's put it this way, three hours ago he wrote, working on something that I hope to drop tomorrow, Dodge, I hope you enjoyed it. So it's up to you whether you like this tweet or not, but in my opinion, uh, for now it is the most uh, promising update uh, at this very moment. And guys, let me tell you my personal story. I have a wife and two children aged 11 and uh, 15, as well as a small dog. After 30 years of living in Russia near the Baikal Lake, we decided to move. Now we reside in Serbia. Although I don't own any MMTLP shares, 
I invest a lot of time creating daily MMTLP videos. I have been doing this every day without days off and holidays for more than one and a half years. Now I wish to buy back this time from my family, from my children. We've agreed that I will ask the MMTLP community to support me and I will give all the money to the children. Therefore, if you believe that I am providing useful content for you and uh, wish to support me, you can join my Patreon account. For $5 a month, I will add your name to my list of supporters if you wish. Thank you in advance. The link you can find in the description below. So, I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm bad, doing no cap Only